Could Pokemon Stadium or Pokemon Battle Revolution work in the current era? What's up, everybody? This is Brad, and I've got an interesting question for you guys, and you just heard it. I wonder if you could do a Pokemon Stadium 3 today, or a Pokemon Battle Revolution 2. Because I actually enjoyed those games, and I'm excited at, uh, at the opportunity to play Pokemon Stadium and Stadium 2 when they add them to Nintendo Switch Online next year. Because I think they were pretty fun games. I also enjoyed Battle Revolution for what it was. And these games didn't have really a story. They were just another way to enjoy the Pokemon uh, handheld games and get a little bit more uh, entertainment out of them. But it, there was a certain thing about these, though, that the current era of Pokemon games provides, you know, by default now. Back in the day, on handhelds, your Pokemon battles were just two sprites staring at each other. So, what Pokemon Stadium and then later Battle Revolution did was give you the chance to see your Pokemon in 3D moving around to some capacity and actually having a battle that was fun to watch. And, you know, that's unfortunately... Or not, not unfortunately, but fortunately that has become just a standard thing in Pokemon games ever since they moved to 3D. So, while I think that was the main appeal of these games, I still think it would be worth trying to revive these games in some way. Or maybe make some kind of combination of them so that people could enjoy this type of game again. Because we know one of the problems with Pokemon's progression and uh, the fact that the games are still incredibly popular, we're not that far away now from the release of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. The problem is, though, through the years, the number of Pokemon has increased over and over again. And it's to the point now where the games can't sustain every single Pokemon in form while also giving you a story. So, I think that maybe if you were to go and remove the story and have games that are just centered around battling, you might could pull this off and actually give these games a reason to exist in the current era. On top of, like, the side things, like, uh, Pokemon Stadium had many games. Those were a lot of fun. And if you connected your handheld games uh, in Stadium 2, if you had Pokemon that could play in the uh, corresponding game, like, uh, there's a game specifically for Hitmontop. If you have a Hitmontop in your Pokemon State, uh, Silver or Gold cartridge, and you've got that uh, attached with the uh, adapter into your Nintendo 64 controller, you can use your Hitmontop from your game in Pokemon Stadium 2 to play that minigame. And if you've nicknamed it, it will show up with nickname and everything. So that's a cool little feature, and it's also a way to get unique Pokemon that you may not have known about for certain uh, minigames that... You know, there's one there's one game specifically titled, like, it's like Fur, Furret's uh, Frolic or something, I can't remember. But it's a game about uh, that stars Furret. But if you've caught a giraffe rig, you can use that in that game too. And I think that's the only way you can use giraffe rig in that game. I think there's, it also works for the Pichu-focused game, where if you have a Pikachu, you can actually use your Pikachu. And then there's one more I know, like, no, there's actually two more. Uh, there's a game where you're either given a pincer or a uh, scyther. If you have scissor, you can use that. And then the tumbling togepi game, if you have omanite for some reason, you can use that. So, like, there's a lot of, you know, stuff there that you could do. Like, there's so many um, uh, mini games you could probably come up with now, considering how many Pokemon there are. Uh... You could have a, almost a Mario Party-like catalog of games 
that you could put in, even bring back some of the classic ones. Like, who doesn't love that Clefairy game? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I would like to see those. I know that the I know that the current like the main series games do have some kind of mini games in them, but not like those. Yeah, I want more of the Mario Party style games uh, to come back. And again, like uh, and something else I thought uh, that you got, like the thing for Pokemon Battle Revolution that I really liked was the character customization. And yeah, the main series has that, but. The problem is with the main series is that all the characters pretty much are just... You get one base design and then you try to tailor that design to look as close to like yourself as possible. The thing I liked about Battle Revolution was is that you get six base models. There's three different female models and three male models. And there's not a lot of customization between them because all their outfits are basically just slight variants of each other with different colors. And, like, you can't, I don't even think you can take the hats off of the characters. You have to give them some kind of hat because they're just coded to have to wear a hat. But the thing I liked about that was uh, that it seemed like you could create characters for your uh, registered passes to use in Battle Revolution. And I liked that. That the character didn't ne uh, necessarily have to look like you. You could just kind of make a character with the limited options you had in that game. But I like the models in that game. I kind of wish they could do that for uh, the, the main series, but I get why they don't. And to be fair, the main series does give you uh, more customization. You can actually get the character to look pretty close to you. And it looks like the, the direction they're going with those uh, models is they're trying to get the characters... Uh, like, if you look at Scarlet and Violet, there's hardly any difference between the male and female models. And I figure they're trying to get to that point to where it's like the Animal Crossing avatars, where you can just put anything on anyone, and, you know, there's no, like, gender separation for the clothes options or hairstyles or whatever. You just make whatever you want. So, I figure that's where they're going, and that does give you more customization. But that again, that feels more like it's it's meant to it's meant to look like you. It's meant to represent you in the game, and I just like that Pokemon Battle Revolution. To me, and this is just you know what I used it for is you could create characters in that. So if you could do that with a new Stadium or Battle Revolution game, I think that would be cool and expand again. You know, expand your options there. Allow for that. Try to get some of that. You know. Uh, additional customization into that. And another big feature with these was rental Pokemon. And I've tried to sit back and figure out how you could do rental Pokemon in this game. Other than, I would say, you do it kind of like uh, Pokemon Stadium. You give, like, you do the different modes. You're, or you're given one generic uh, Pokemon of each type. And what I mean is, or you could maybe do uh, implement something like, uh, what's it called? Pokemon Showdown? It's like this battle emulator website where you can go and make the Pokemon and give them any stat you really want, any move you want, and you can completely customize the battle to have your ideal team. And I think uh, you could try to do something like that with the rental Pokemon. Like, if you want a shiny version of one particular Pokemon, you can select that. Maybe not fully customize it so that it's not completely changed. Like, Pokemon Stadium you and Re Revolution for the rental Pokemon, their stats and stuff are set. Which is why, <laughs> back in the day, the official guides for Stadium and Stadium 2 recommend that you actually go out and get an actual like Game Boy Pokemon game and train the Pokemon there. So that because it says your trained Pokemon will be stronger than the rental ones. So the official state, of course it does. The official guy tells you go out and buy the other games. Give us more of your money. <laughs> but um, so I don't know how you could get around that because like the appeal of the other games is going around and catching Pokemon and catching whichever ones you want and you know. But you, so you wouldn't want to give that to these games where you could just catch Pokemon. 
So the uh, so I think to to offset the ba- to uh, to balance it out a little bit more, you should maybe just be stuck with whatever rental you want. You can use whatever Pokemon you want, like in Stadium, but the move sets are pretty uh, set. Or maybe like okay, you want to use Charizard. Well, here's your three Charizards with three different uh, sets of stats. Pick whichever one you think is the closest to the one you want. You could set it to shiny if you want. You know, give it whatever item you want. But the move sets are limited. You've got to pick. So I think that could maybe work. Or, you know, if not, then okay, you get one Charizard to pick from. Here it is. You know, otherwise go play uh, Scarlet and Violet. (laughs) But yeah, maybe if there was no story to include no cutscenes or anything like that, maybe they could work in all the Pokemon. And have modes for, like, forgotten old features. Like, double battles are never going to go away. I think double battles have become too ingrained in, in the games to ever be completely gone. So, I think... uh, Why not, if you did a game like this, for the maybe the three people on the face of the planet who actually liked it, bring back uh, Generation 5's triple battles and rotation battles. Like, the rotation battles were weird, and I don't really miss them, to be honest. But surely somebody out there would like to see a, uh, a modern Pokemon game that brings back rotation battles with all the new Pokemon. Or a triple battle. And then you get into the features that a lot of people actually did miss. Mega Evolution. Z-Moves. And now, even though it, we, we, it feels like we all got used to Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing, and now there's this new thing, and I still can't even remember the name for it. Uh, the, the Crystal Pokemon thing that actually completely changes their type. So... All these different battle mechanics that can't in- be integrated together anymore. You could have modes in the game that allow you to play by those. If you want a battle that uses Gigantamax and Dynamaxing, you could get that. If you want to do Z-moves and Mega Evolutions, you could have that too. And the thing about making this all in one game is that you could reuse... like You could set the Pokemon models for... you know. Each mode will still borrow, like, you know, the same base Charizard model. So that there's not, like, a different Charizard for each individual battle style. That might would help, I would guess. Though I imagine that, that still, the sheer number of Pokemon now would still be a burden on the game. But I wonder if you made it downloadable. If it was completely, you know, online, sort of the way that, you know, like Pokemon Unite is, could you do it then? If it was an online service, could you just keep adding Pokemon? Could you release it at first as like a a very bare bones Pokemon Stadium game that just has certain Pokemon? Or maybe it's uh just the first few generations. Then, like, you could do uh. The first four generations. Then the big, then the first big update adds generation five and gives you triple and rotation battles. Next generation gives you, uh, the next update gives you generation six. You get mega evolutions. Next one for gen seven, uh, mega evolutions and Z moves. Gen eight, you get Dynamax and Gigantamaxing. Like, I think that maybe it could work. Maybe. Again, it depends on just how difficult it would be to get every single Pokemon into a single into a single game, even without the big region and all the other stuff added. So that's the big question. If you cut that stuff, could you make it work? And I don't know. It might still be undoable. But if they could make it work, I'd like to see it.
Because I think that the, there's there's two audiences there. You got the general Pokemon audience would probably play not just that game, but uh, this new, potential new game too. Because there is a good appeal to there. There's like a lot of people do like traveling the regions and exploring the Pokemon worlds and catching Pokemon for themselves. But then there are those that just want to do the battles. They don't want to spend their time, uh, you know, roaming a, a particular a particular region. You know, and and uh, you know, grinding to get that perfect, uh, you know, the IVs and EVs or whatever it is. You know, like some of those competitive players, or especially like the ones who breed Pokemon to get that perfect when they want. They just have to breed the Pokemon over and over and over again until they get it exactly right. But then, you know, like, again, and then you, like, the main series games also has, like, trading. You wouldn't have that in Battle Revolution. You couldn't, you know, the Pokemon you have there are just borrowed. They're not yours. So, I don't know. I don't think it would hurt the main series, really. I mean, it, I, well, I guess it could. If people don't want to play the main series, you know, if, if people, if, if enough people do decide they don't like Roman that like, but I don't know I still feel like a lot of the appeal of Pokemon is, is traveling the regions and stuff on your own exploring that and experiencing the stories I think people like that so I don't think that it would be that bad you might have some that would just completely abandon the main series for a potential stadium battle revolution uh, revival but I don't think it would be that bad Especially because the new the, the main series would be where all the new stuff happens first anyway. These would probably more or less feature uh, or serve as a, a, a throwback. You know, throwback to the bygone eras. The stuff that you can't do in the main series anymore. So, that might would balance things out, maybe. You could have your whatever the current generation is doing is their gimmick. You could do that there. And then whenever that generation is over, you move it to the Revolution game. Maybe it would work. I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you like to see Battle Revolution or, or Stadium come back for a new game and bring in, you know, and bring back these uh, lost battle styles that we don't have anymore and the Z-moves and the Mega Evolutions? Well, let me know. Leave a comment. And be sure to watch all my other stuff, if you would. And we'll be back for more potential hypothetical video game ideas in the future. Going to try to see what all else I could come up with. The last time I wanted to do one of these, it was for a potential Pokemon Snap 2 game. And before I ever sat down to record it, they announced new Pokemon Snap. So hey, maybe somebody out there is... Uh, Thinking the same thoughts that I am? Who knows? Anyway, we'll be back for more later. Till then, I'm out. I'm out. What did I say? Bye-bye.